Hello and Assalamu alaikum everyone. Uh, I am Osama Aslam and today we will discuss about the concrete Mender model. Uh, mostly when we are doing modeling in ETL or any software, for example in Abacus. So uh, for concrete we have to define a model, any model for example, different models. Um, most famous is concrete Mender model, plastic damage model or any model. So uh, this is actually uh, in this model there are two uh, regions unconfined concrete curve and then confined concrete curve. So how to get this curve there is an excel sheet I can show you uh, that is uh, this sheet um, both for rectangular sections and for the uh, rectangular and this is for the circular section. So here uh, we have to put some input data in orange box and then uh, the gray one will be automatically calculated and uh, then you can get this curve uh, according to your data input and I will show you for example here for example when defining in tabs, it also use a Mender model you can see this Mender con confined curve so this is very uh, like important to uh, how we can modify this and so I will explain you a little bit for example this is for the circular section for a circular section you can take any dia for example we take 600 so it will automatically change the parameters and also update the curve you can see the curve is now more wider than you, any cover for example this is for column mostly we take 25 week for example we take 40 millimeter and uh, then this is n number of longitudinal bar I mean the main bar we provide 15 or 16 then dia of bar is uh, 16 here you can take 20 it will automatically calculate the area of that bar and then confining hoops confining hoops and you can uh, take the dia for example 12, 12 is ok I think and area it will automatically calculate the spacing you can take any transverse reinforcement you know there are two reinforcement main longitudinal and the transverse which confine the any circle or rectangular section uh, you can take 50 any I am just taking any then it, these parameters will be automatically calculated then material pro property for example uh, C30 45 50 any okay you can take uh, any strength for example 40 C40 and uh, then I think these three parameters for them uh, peak strain, crushing strain and spalling strain these you don't change it you can also change it but these are the calculated from some parameters and formulas and you don't need to change it. it it is good if you want to change it you can change and this will automatically change the other parameters and see the curves are changed then uh, confined concrete confined mean like where the there are some transverse reinforcement uh, it its uh, stance is more than unconfined Con unconfined means simple uh, concrete there is no reinforcement and this is plain concrete and then this is drawing parameter so this this means is that how, how much division you want to make the graphs mostly uh, divisions for example n1 is a Unconfi unconfined concrete you will you take 30 you can if you want to make more uh, uh, good graph you can change it all to 40 for example and uh, then unconfined concrete you can take 30 this is just how many divisions or increments are used in the strain domain when plotting stress strain curve for each concrete actually this will this division will uh, represent the curve and uh, Mm, yeah, you can choose if you want high resolution graph, you can change it 
and then dx d2 d3 they are strain step for confined and unconfined and then this is for extreme in cover concrete so um, yeah actually uh, they are determined actually by total strain range and the total number of divisions so this this is just the how you can get the graph more good and you can now see that uh, is for the confined concrete these values are automatically calculated when you change the parameters here this one for the cover concrete and there's a yellow line here a blue line here that is for unconfined concrete that is hidden now under this green curve so this is excel sheet i will also upload in the google drive you can take it and for the um, a rectangular section uh, this is actually in the same thing we have to put the width and depth of the um, for example this is the width then depth cover cover you can take any number of longitudinal bars and die of that bar it will calculate the area then number of transfers shear bars you can choose any and then die of that bar mostly for transfer bar we you choose 10 uh, because it it is enough because its main purpose is to confine not the load bearing then the in y direction then its dia center to center spacing and then this is the uh, volumetric ratio okay so this actually this one uh, this parameter are like what is k k is actually uh, confinement effectiveness coefficient and which accounts the efficiency of the transfer reinforcement in confining the core concrete and then this one is the volumetric ratio of confinement concrete to the confined core and this and these are the stresses in the x and y direction x and y direction and there's area and spacing f y h is the stresses so and this and this one is this figure is very important for example this these parameter we calculate from this figure this figure actually confined stance um, like determination uh, horizontal axis uh, smallest confining stresses ratio f1 to f2 and then the uh, vertical axis the largest confining ratio FL2 to FCO and uh, yes th actually this curve uh, these curves are controlled on the graph represent the ratio of confined compressive strength to the unconfined com confined to unconfined compressive strength ratio so uh, the dashed line actually represents a condition uh, where the confinement stresses in both direction are equal here both stresses are equal so uh, this actually what is the usage of this graph uh, to estimate the enhanced compressive strength of concrete due to confining action of transfer reinforcement so you can see we calculate this value from this where both are equal and our material property you can choose any 30 c30 or any this will be automatically calculated and the same that i explained earlier and then you will get this uh, confined unconfined and unconfined previously it was hidden under the green curve and th that's all from the Mender model and this is very important model in uh, simulation and in a backers heat as a sap what software you are using that's all if you have any question please let me know